Anybody who is telling you jobs are bad, don't do jobs or whatever, stay away. Saying that is absolutely illogical. Nowadays, hating on jobs is cool. Hating on people who are doing jobs is cool. It is very easy to call them a coward, a slave or whatever. But that is absolutely unnecessary. Not everybody is meant for business. Not everybody is meant for taking risks. Not everybody is meant to live life on the edge. While everybody is telling you why you should not do a job, here's a video telling why you should do a job and stop hating on jobs. And by the way, just to clear it off, I'm a very big believer in freelancing. I've done it myself and I've been into a job as well. Hence, whatever I'll be saying in this video, I've been into those things in and out. Hence, all perspectives are sorted and you'll get a view from every perspective. Don't worry. I'll be talking to the age group of 16 to 24. Hence, every single one of you pay attention and get your mind straight into this video. And a quick tip, don't just believe any stranger online who is hating on jobs with no real logic. So number one, not everybody is made for business. Not everybody is meant to start a business. If you have responsibilities on your shoulders, you should 100% think while taking any risks. Taking calculated risk is the only thing that you can do. But since 16 to 24 age groups are not really the ones who are taking responsibilities, you can take a few risks and calculated ones. You can learn things, you can upskill yourself while you still have time. While taking a job, make sure that you are growing at a massive pace. Make sure you're learning a bunch load of things. Hence, choose wisely where to work. Simply, anything that will help you grab your skills, go for that environment with your eyes closed. Don't worry about the money factor much. At times in the beginning stages, you should even have the spirit to work for free. Doing this would give you massive learnings which would maybe help you in starting your own business in the future. Or maybe turn into a freelancer and work by yourself. Number two, the feedback loop. The amount of time to getting a feedback and getting it again and again is what we call a feedback loop. The most precious thing in the world is feedback. I consider feedback as equivalent to gold. Genuine feedback is the hardest thing you can find. The biggest billionaires in the world value feedback the most. It helps you grow faster, make quicker moves and move forward quickly. But when something is so valuable, it is very hard to get. In a job, this feedback loop is shrunk down to nothing. You get quick feedbacks. You get instant results of your work. Maybe you have a senior who is telling you whether the work you're doing is right or wrong. And this thing happens very quickly in a job, shortening your learning curve. And now, having a genuine person telling you these things is very important. Hence, choose a team that has a growth mindset that will help you grow at a crazy speed. While freelancing, this feedback loop is a bit longer. Hence, whenever you start freelancing, make sure you're at a certain point where you can figure things out by yourself without any much help by others. Hence, feedback loop is a bit slower. And as a business, establishing feedback loops is a very, very hard thing to do. Companies spend millions to get genuine feedback from the people who are in the industry. This helps them grow their business at a larger scale. But in that case, finding that takes time and money. This is like a log of wood in the sea, having no direction at all. Having nothing to look at, you don't know where to go. Hence, whenever you have to learn something from the absolute beginning, you should have the quickest feedback loop. And by the way, just remember this concept of feedback loop. If not now, you'll understand later how important this thing is. Cool. Number three, the job ecosystem has a lot to offer. Of course, a stable source of money, but a good network is the most precious thing you could have. To give you examples, the biggest entrepreneurs in the world currently are coming out of PayPal. They all worked jobs at PayPal. These people had such a good quality network that helped them later after leaving PayPal. And every single one of them won in their life. You can take our local examples. Paytm's early employees have started many businesses and their network has helped them along the way. Flipkart's early employees have started a lot of successful businesses and the network has helped them along the way as well. A lot of successful businessmen come out of a healthy growth environment. Hence, working a job with a growth network is the best thing you could do for yourself. Now, for getting a job, you need to have a skill, something to offer, something relevant to give. Learn that first, work for free to get better, get internships, freelance. Get most feedbacks in the very early stages as it is the quickest way to hack your growth. So now after watching this video, don't be a fool. It's cool nowadays to hate on jobs, but remember, at times this could be a launch pad for our career missile. Jumping into starting a business or freelancing with absolutely no plan could be the worst things that you could do for yourself. Stop following influencers who degrade having a job. Stop listening to people who curse having a job. And remember one thing, probably these people are trying to sell you something by saying that or are just saying that because it is a cool thing to say and it gets them more views and likes. Remember this thing when you next time listen to somebody doing this. I'm not here for views. I mean, yeah, numbers are really important and I am a numbers guy. But that is not important than the truth, right? Here, you'll get to hear the truth, no matter what. No bullshit. Don't try to be cool. Be realistic. So to sum it up, number one, not everybody is meant for business. Take calculated risks. Number two, get quick feedbacks and establish the feedback loop. And number three, job ecosystem has a lot to offer than just money. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, share this with your friends who are hustling it out and learning skills. Tell them they're on the right track. 
At times there's nobody to tell these things. Probably you can be that person for your friend. Share this video with your friend. And as I mentioned, having good people around you is a very precious thing to have. And I also mentioned about PayPal. So here's a video about the PayPal mafia. In this video, I have explained why every early employee of PayPal has made it big in their careers. Here's why they rule the internet. Go check it out. If you want to hang around with a group of people who are learning skills and working on cool stuff together, be a part of such a community. The Discord link is in the description. We're going to have a bunch of events to help you learn about design, code, product, business, sales, marketing, and whatnot. So if you want to learn these skills in the simplest way possible with such a community, the Discord link is in the description. If you're serious enough to learn these skills, I'll see you in there. Tap on that link right now. Anyways, for more of such content and other business stories, subscribe to this channel. We have a goal of 300 subscribers by the end of February. So that was it for this video and I'll see you guys on the other side.